says it's time to set the outpost free, inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through to the rival captain. Here's the first line of defense. Bomb lobber. Back in the spot, wrecked it. A barrel shoot. Smack it to get a barrel out of it, then hit it toward the gate and blast it. Keep going. Here's the second line of defense. Smoldering already. Give it a good smack.
give it a good smack. Almost there. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. You're one step closer to ending the tribe war. Says you're in good company there. Says they've been waiting for you to help. Just keep going while you can and don't stop until all outposts are under your control. There is a high boom team ready to help with taking. Get up there and get fixing. Don't overstep. Who could stand against that? Spin, swing, crack!
Just a few moves left. Make them count. are already gearing up the high boobs. Hope their aimers are fixed too. The outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. He says you did a great job capturing the outpost. Your one says you didn't have much of a choice. There's the sovereign who runs this outpost. He didn't expect his outpost to be invaded, but now that you're working with their rival, he can see why. He'll fight if he must. He wished for another solution to the conflict, but it seems he has no choice. It's their last line of defense. Once their guardian falls, they'll surrender.
outpost belongs to your tribe now. He says you made them weaker, but they won't give up. Your Sifu thanks you. Your tribe is growing stronger. Thinks you did a great job capturing the rival's third outpost and believes the rival is weak enough to engage them at their fort. They all hope you can... They've been waiting for you. Taking control of this fort will bring peace between your tribes. You better be. A tribe's fort is a bigger challenge than an outpost. The plan is to fling you over the wall with a sling lobber. However, explains that it's a type of catapult that uses a long arm to propel a projectile. Or in your case, a gutsy hard-hatted head. Glad to see some wood scrap there. That seems the keys need to be in sequence to make the ring dinger work. Just a few moves left. Make them count. Sometimes no message is a message. You need to get the keys in sequence. So, the technology from yesterday's is still here today, even if its message is getting old. Squint into the oncoming light. It's time to set the rival tribe free. Inflict as little damage as possible as you make your way through. You need...
that's a fire starter. The dry grass looks like it would ignite easily. You just need to create a spark to light a fire. It burns brighter than the light. You can see so much farther in the light. Sharp steel. story will go on as long as there is someone there to listen. Entering Bonker looks like a great way to get through the gate. Bet you just need to knock and it'll open up. That's bonkers. The Netra tribe yes. values liberty and is striving to protect freedom. They want to continue with each tribe being responsible for their own and believe that uniting the tribes is the only way you can survive. He was hoping it wouldn't end this way. There's no reason to fight instead of uniting. It would be fighting over nothing. He'll fight for what matters. Today, he'll fight you. But tomorrow, he hopes to fight by your side.
The rival Sifu is defeated, and the destiny of their tribe is in your hands. You are free to choose their fate, but not free from the consequences of your choice. He'll leave it up to you to decide the fate of the rival Sifu, but suggests you'll show mercy. He likes the way you think. And with that, your side by side they'll stand until order and stability is reinstituted. What? He's gotten news that the other tribes have realized there are The way he sees it is that you've been forced into opposition. Your tribe didn't start the war, but it's fallen to you to end it. It's clear your efforts have been successful. There's light at the end of the tunnel. The tribes are tired of war and will remember the one who brought them peace, whether you decide it'll be now or later. So, do you want... That's not the answer he expected. You've reached your goal and had a choice to end the war without any more casualties. But he accepts your choice. He wants you to focus. These are the new rival outposts your tribe needs to take control of. He says you'll regret not being on their side. The only way you'll learn their secrets, Wung Fu and the tribe weapon now, is if you defeat him. And that will never happen. It's the Netra Claw Chain. <laughs> 